All right, I'm fixing to do my third hive inspection of that uh, split I did here a few weeks ago. So hopefully on this inspection, I'm going to find the queen. Last time I did this, found the cap queen cell, and uh, everything was looking really good. The foragers were going out and doing their thing. And uh, now I'm hoping to uh, locate a queen. We'll see what happens. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw this, but uh, here a while back, I built me some Tanzanian style top bar hives. These hives are designed to be able to handle uh, regular top bars and, and Langstroth. So as you can tell, they're, uh, they're rectangular. They don't have that triangular shape to them. I've still got to build a few top bars. Check this one out. So this is a medium Langstroth and it'll take a full size deep Langstroth in here along with the top bars. So I have the benefit of the top bars and if I wish to harvest some honey, then I can also use the uh, the regular frames. Give me a little dose of smoke over here. Looks like they've used all the sugar water. So it'll be time to replace that. Oh yeah, they're building that out nicely. Alright, I think this is the original comb that I brought from the other hive. Yeah. I see some bees emerging right there. They're starting to chew their way out. Not seeing any more queen cells on here at all. I'm not entirely certain, but I think that is my queen right there, young. She's not very big, but she looks different than all the others. She's moving right down through there. Her abdomen is longer than all the others. Yeah, boy, I can spot her quick right there. Looks like we got ourselves a queen. Okay, at this stage, I don't know if she has bred or not. She's not very big. She's bigger than the others. Not as fat as some of the drones, but... Uh, <clears throat> the only way I was even able to spot her is her abdomen was a little longer than the others not by much so I saw everything I need to see in that everything's going good like I say I don't know if uh, she's ready for her her breeding flight yet if I'm not mistaken I think that could be up to another seven days after she emerges so we still have some time all right we're gonna go take a look at that other hive okay I lifted the lid over here and this entire top portion of the top bars was totally covered with bees was it's not any longer and there is a mass of bees up in here I don't know what that is I don't know if that's bearding or what that is it could very well be what that is it's just bearding up inside the uh, attic space of this hive so we're going to give uh, this a little puff of smoke and what we're going to be looking for is um, queen cells that may be indicating that this hive is about to swarm or possibly about to replace the uh, the queen. But um, And we're also going to check and see how they did on drawing out the comb on these other top bars. We may need to add a few top bars to this. So let's get set up. 
That is a lot of bees. Oh yeah, they're already on the uh, on the last bar. They're drawing out the last bar. I may have waited too late. They may be already looking at swarming. Yeah, that's the last bar. I think they had, uh, last time I checked, they had three bars to build on. And they're working on the last bar now. This next one is completely drawn out with comb. Yeah, that's good looking. Honeycomb there. Looking on the sides for any kind of queen cells. And I'm looking on the face for any cells. It's a bunch of honey here. As I go through here, I'll see if I can spot that queen. She's a big one. Big old fat girl. It's cloudy out here, looking like it might possibly rain. So these bees are acting just a little bit feisty. If it looks like it's going to rain, I have discovered that the bees don't like their hive opened up and jacked with. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Bunch of open larvae in there. Cap brood. Not seeing any queen cells. Right on to the next one. Oh my. I not believe if I wasn't wearing this bee suit, I'd done been popped by now. I'm not seeing the queen, but a situation like this, I'm really not worried about finding the queen. She's obviously working hard in here, so I'm not overly worried about it. She's darn hard. She can be hard to spot in the, this mass of bees, too. That is heavy mass of bees. But be careful how you turn these over when they're heavy like this. You don't want to break the comb in half. Well, this hive is just busting with bees. I'm really surprised that they haven't started uh, some swarm cells. They're getting testy. So like these bees are not normally like this, but I normally don't do a hive inspection when it's all gray and cloudy and looking like it's gonna rain. We literally had tornadoes just yesterday that came over this area. Look how full of bees that is. Just chocked full. We're just going to take a look at the edges. Just give them a little puff of air. Yep, there's a queen cell. Right on the edge. Right there. That is a queen cell. And as long as there's nothing in it, I'm probably okay. Because from what I understand, it's normal for there to be uh, a swarm cell built on the side just for when they do get ready to to swarm. Does not appear to be oh there's a second one. There's one. <laughs> there's another. Okay. I'm gonna need to watch those. If they wind up capping those, what I'm gonna do is I'll take this honeycomb out. I'll make sure the queen's not on here. And I'll move this over to one of my empty Tanzanian top bar hives. And I'll start another hive. Let's see. What the heck is going on over here? Looks like this is probably bearding. Yeah, this is bearding. They're not building comb in there or anything. So I'm going to button this hive up and uh, try my dangest not to squish any bees. It's not difficult to do. It's not difficult to close it up and, uh, and manage to keep from harming bees, but my goodness, there's a lot of bees. So it's going to take some effort.
it's going to take a lot of effort. They make a little, they make little tunnels in between these top bars, so they can come out here on the top. It allows air to flow through their hive, but it also, where the propolis pulls apart, it gives me a guide as to exactly where the top bar needs to slide back to. And I can do so without harmonizing the bees. Moody, moody, moody. One time I had a wife and three daughters in the house. So uh, I'm quite used to moodiness. Use this follower board that doesn't have the hole. Nearly forgot. We're adding top bars to this today. Go. That's all there is to adding a top bar. Nothing to it at all. Don't have to worry about sliding a frame down in there with them. And squishing bees. You just slap a top bar on there and go. They're building so fast. I'm going to go ahead and give them a fourth. Follower boards installed. I'll leave that for storage. And in the fall, when I, after I've harvested some honeycomb, uh, then I'll look at adding sugar water to this to get them through the winter. Okay, so that concluded the uh, hive inspection. If you enjoyed this video, everything's rock and rolling nicely with this hive and the, uh, the new hive. Uh, if you haven't forgotten, hit like, and if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. You guys have a good day. Goodbye.